Yeah. Shall we get started? So we discussed theory part yesterday, right? We saw the properties and all those things. So any doubt from yesterday's class? You're able to understand, right? You can do it on your own, even if you forget it. You'll be able to derive it, right? So shall we do some problems? Just give me a minute. Point two, right? Yeah. Uh. So we did example three and four, right? So we'll start with example five. Okay, listen. See, uh, one disclaimer is for solving inverse trigonometry based problem, you need to be good with trigonometry also. So if at all you need any concept that want me to explain from trigonometry also, please ask. Okay, so we get started with this. Express tan inverse of cos x by one minus sin x in the simplest form. See, wherever you see a question in the simplest form, Right. It means that you need to remove the inverse trigonometric function. You need to get rid of it. So when can you get rid of tan inverse? When inside function is tan function. So your job is to write cos x by 1 minus sin x in terms of tan. Okay. So listen to this carefully. Uh, the important formula you are supposed to know to solve this problem are cos square x is equal to cos square x minus sin square x. You know half angle formula? So if it is 2x here, it is x and x. Both of you can you come from it. I'm not able to show it. So cos 2x is equal to cos square x minus sin square x. In a similar way, what will cos x be? Cos square x by 2 minus sin square x by 2. Yeah, cos square x by 2 minus sin square x by 2. So this cos x, I can think of writing in this term. Okay, that is one thing. Secondly, if you observe, 1 minus sin x is there, right? So this 1 minus sin x, I can write it as cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2. Why? Because that is 1 minus the sin x is there, right? I can write it as 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2. It is looking in what, what form? a square plus b square minus 2ab. So I can write this as cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 the whole square. Right. So, in simple terms, what I can say is tan inverse of this question is there, right? Instead of cos x, I can write it as cos square x by 2 minus sin square x by 2 divided by e, cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 the whole square. Is it convincing? Right. Please copy this. There is any doubt asked. So cos square x by 2 minus sin square x by 2 by cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 the whole square. 
So numerator is of the form a square minus b square up another. So a minus b into a plus b the whole divided by cos x by two minus sin x by two the whole square, right? So one cos x by two minus sin x by two and this will get cancelled. What is that you are left out with? Tan inverse of cos x by two plus sin x by two by uh, cos x by two minus sin x by two. Okay. See in this chapter and uh, I can say in differentiation also you will find this kind of a uh, equation always cos plus sin by cos minus sin. You will often find it. Okay. Then what you are supposed to do is divide the numerator and denominator with cos. So when you do that. I get one plus tan x by two by one minus tan x by two. Except that so I take out the cos x by two and divide the numerator and de denominator with it. Like this is what I get. But listen, one is tan pi by four. Correct? Uh, so can I think of this as tan pi by four plus tan x by two by 1 minus tan pi by 4 into tan x by 2. What is this actually? Tan of pi by 4 plus x by 2. So plus I get tan, tan inverse of tan of pi by 4 plus x by 2. Answer is this is the simplest form. Only with the Minus pi by two to pi by six. It's not see. It's not about the assumption. The minus pi by two to pi by two. I thought someone had asked me this question when I didn't want to say because it will confuse you. See, if you observe this step, right? This step. What we call online. So I wrote cos square x by two plus sine square x by two minus two cos x by two sine x by two. Sorry, uh, yeah. So I could have written it as sine square x by 2 plus cos square x by 2 minus 2 sine x by 2 cos x by 2 also. If I write it like this, if I wrote it in the reverse format, then A would have been sine x by 2, B would have been cos x by 2. But why, why didn't I write it in the reverse? Because of the domain that is given. So they gave minus pi by 2 to pi by 2, right? That is in the fourth and the first quadrant when the angles are measured only till uh, minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Then where is x by 2 measured from? See, x is measured between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Minus? Uh, so minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 is there. No? Yeah. Different. Huh? What is 3 pi by 2. But this will work for this also. I'll tell you. So, see, for example, if you take this as minus pi by 4 to pi by 4. Okay. So, it is something like this. If I take the quadrant, this is pi by 4. This is minus pi by 4. Accept it. This is pi by... See, you need not think this much in all. For CPSC purpose, not needed. But for the knowledge purpose, I'm sharing it with you. This is minus pi by 4. Sorry. So, when you take between these two values... Cos is always greater than sin. You know why? I'll show you. I'll show you graphically. So what graph is this? What graph is this? So what angle is this? Pi by? Correct. So C between 0 to pi by 4, which one is at the top? If I take it in the reverse way, it is something like this. One minute. So it is going to be something like this. So somewhere here, minus pi by 4 is there. Sine pi by 4 is not the same as, sorry, sine of minus pi by 4 is not the same as cos of minus pi by 4. Why? 
because cos is positive there. That is why if you see cos graph is above x-axis and sine graph is below x-axis. There is no problem with that. But what is happening here? Who is dominating in the top? That is the reason why I wrote it as cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2. You are able to understand? Use the same logic for whatever domain they have given. It's the same thing applicable. What is the angle there? Minus 3 pi by 2. 2? Okay. So minus 3 pi by 2 now you come in this side for 270 degrees. So minus 3 pi by 2 in the form. It will be like this. First quadrant. And pi by 2. Second quadrant. So they are indirectly telling you all these things are happening in the first quadrant. So in the first quadrant, who is going to dominate? Cos is going to dominate sine till where? Till pi by 10. Sorry, till pi by 4. That's what they mean. Okay. So, anyways, you need not think this much. Has everyone understood by the they're able to understand, right? So it is pi by 4 plus x by 2. Shall we try the next one? So part inverse of 1 by square root of x square minus 1. So how did they get mod x greater than 1? We will try to understand function also here. Okay, Let's not just solve these problems. How did they get mod x greater than 1? Because see, 1 by root of x square minus 1 is there. right? What kind of a function is there? Forget about part inverse. What kind of function is there inside part inverse? It's a rational function, right? For a it's rational function, what is, yeah, what is not supposed to be zero? Denominator should not be zero. So, root of x square minus one cannot be equal to zero. At the same time, x square minus one should be greater than zero. Why? So, had this root of x square minus one been in the numerator, I would have written x square minus 1 greater than or equal to 0, but it is the denominator. So, x square minus 1 is greater than 0 now. x minus 1 into x plus 1 is greater than 0. Okay. The meaning of this is, you can substitute. Okay. I will explain one method. You will not get confused. No. Listen. Yesterday, you, somebody asked me, how is mod x greater than or equal to 1 lies between minus infinity to minus 1. I will tell you a method. Listen. So, x minus 1 into x plus 1 is greater than 0. What is the meaning of this inequality? In the, pl in the place of x, you need to substitute those values such that the product of x minus 1 and x plus 1 is always positive. Correct? Huh? So, what are the checkpoints? If I equate this equation, x minus 1 into x plus 1 to 0, the expression to 0, what are the checkpoints I will get? Minus 1 and plus 1. How did I get minus 1? Because if I say x plus 1 is 0, x is minus 1. If I say x minus 1 is 0, I get plus 1. So, I have three regions. Left of minus 1, between minus 1 to 1 and right of 1. Correct? So, you take any value on left of minus 1 and substitute and see. What are you getting? You take any value on left. Minus 2. So, you will get a positive value because Minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. So, minus into minus is always a positive. So, in this region, whatever value of x you are going to substitute is a positive number. Between minus 1 to 1, substitute any number. You take 0 for time being. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. 0 plus 1 is plus 1. So, minus 1 into plus 1 is negative. In the, mean, in the same sense, any value between minus 1 to 1 will always give you negative. Similarly, if you substitute any value greater than 1, take 2 for example, 2 minus 1 is positive, 2 plus 1 is also positive. So, what are the regions where, what are the regions of x where this inequality is giving you positive values? Minus infinity to minus 1, not included, union 1 to infinity. Why did I include 1? Why did I not include 1? Because inequality says, strictly greater than 0. I do not want a 0. You have to understand. That is the reason why the inequality is written like this. This is what we can also call it as mod x greater than. Purida. So, you are able to understand how these values are. I am sure you would have learned this in linear inequalities. Right? 
So this is the logic. Right. So here I'm trying to do two things parallelly. Guys. One is explain how to find the domain of a function. And second is how to solve an inverse trigonometry based problem. So your domain is clear, right? Inverse trigonometry is only two steps. Yesterday I gave you a table. Substitution, what is it? 1 minus x square. x is sine or cos. 1 plus x square. Tan or cot. x square minus 1. Secant or cosecant. So what I will do is I will substitute x is equal to secant theta. So cot inverse of 1 divided by root of secant square theta minus 1. Did you understand? So this is cot inverse of cot theta. Theta answer is theta is what? So you see, problem is it's only two steps. Yeah, that's what. That is fine. You're getting the simplest formula, you know. So, if there was a possibility where you could have eliminated in terms of x itself, then this would have come in terms of x, but it is not working. So, what I'm trying to say is this value in the simplest form is the same as secant inverse. It's a single expression. That is the meaning. So in the previous problem, observe, we didn't go with any substitution. Whereas when you go with substitution, this is how you get the answers. Right? Now you think. So now I'm not going to explain about domain at all. Let's start solving them faster. So prove that tan inverse x plus tan inverse of 2x by 1 minus x square is equal to tan inverse of 3x minus x cube divided by 1 minus 3x square. So use the formula of fifth identity. Tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. So what is it? Tan inverse of x plus y by 1 minus x, y. Apply button. If you know to handle it, well, well and good. As of now, when you have formula, just go with it. Okay. So, tan inverse 6 plus 1. Sir, substituting and getting Then you need to consider tan on both sides. If you use tan direct formula, you will get it. You have to take LHS separately. In LHS, you substituted 3 theta, but what is theta? Tan inverse x. So, left hand side is 3 tan inverse x. Right side, by 3p again, you substitute the same x as tan theta and c. What is tan 3 theta formula? Anybody who remembers? Minus tan cube theta by 1 minus 3 tan square theta. So, you will get tan inverse of tan 3 theta, other than 3 theta. So, we will get 3 tan inverse 6, 3 tan inverse 6. Instead of that, you can take, see, I am generally comfortable taking one side and getting the RHS. I generally do not do LHS and RHS subject. So, if you are done with this, go to the next problem. Now, tan inverse of x plus y by 1 minus 2x square by 1 minus x square. This will be tan inverse of how much? x minus x cube plus 2x divided by 1 minus x square minus 2x square. The denominator gets cancelled. 1 minus x square, 1 minus x square will get cancelled. So, what is that you are left out with? Tan inverse of 3x minus x cube by 1 minus 3x square. Correct? Dinesh, breathe up. Tarush, clear? Niranjan?
Next one. It's just one step. One step, literally. You look at it, you can tell the answer. Cause of secant inverse x plus cosecant inverse x. Property number four. Secant inverse x plus cosecant inverse x is pi by two. Cos pi by two is that's the answer. Cos of this is pi by two. This will be zero. Right. So three sine inverse x. So prove that three sine inverse x is equal to sine inverse of three x minus four x cube. So which one is better, taking LHS or RHS and solving? So whichever is a complicated expression, right? Take that and solve. Take RHS. So RHS, the hint is, listen, whenever there is a proof that problem, right? The hint is very simple. If you take right hand side, for example, left hand side, what are they asking you to prove? Three sine inverse x, no? So sine theta is what you need to substitute. So whichever is the inverse trigonometric function that you're supposed to simplify to, substitute the trigonometric function of it. That's, that is the logic, do it. Freedom. So RHS is what? Sine inverse of, 3x minus 4x cube. So x is equal to sine theta, which implies sine inverse of 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cube theta. It's a direct formula. Sine inverse of sine 3 theta. There's going to be 3 theta or 3 sine inverse x. Right? Next one. Can we go a little faster? Hmm. Yes, next one. Same logic, go it fast. What will you substitute? So take RHS. To those who are able to do, you do not look at the board, keep going. Those who are on there, any doubts? Akash, Arvind, Harini. Shubham, any doubt? Sir. No, Harini. sir. Shubham. So, put x is equal to cos theta in RHS. Right. Uh, what about the third one? Like? Stand inverse of 2 by 11 plus stand inverse of 7 by 24 is stand inverse of half. So take LHS itself. Pandama. If you take LHS. Stand inverse of 6 plus stand inverse yeah. of 3. Yes. Stand inverse of 2 by 11 plus 7 by 24 by 1 minus. Uh, can I write it as 7 by 11 into 12? Okay, so tan inverse. Okay, I'll leave it as uh, I leave it as fourteen by twenty-four into eleven itself. Because if I take it, it's easy for me. So tan inverse of what will I get? Twenty-four to forty-eight plus seventy-seven divided by twenty-four. Oh, lama two sixty-eight. Two six four minus fourteen. So that will be tan inverse of 125 divided by 250. Yeah, that is half. So tan inverse of half. That's what they're asking. No? Yeah. Oh. See, this two tan inverse half is there, right? What you're supposed to do is write it in terms of tan inverse. So what is two tan inverse x? So two tan inverse x is equal to tan inverse of 2x divided by 1 minus x squared. 1 minus x squared. So 1 plus x squared, now what will you get? 
that is sin inverse. So I have a number. So this I can write it as tan inverse of two x divided by one minus x square, one minus one by four. The other tan inverse of one by seven I am not going to disturb. So I hope you understood that I am taking only LHS. So whichever is complicated I will take that. So. Uh, Formula is the last sixth property. Tan inverse of two x by one minus x square. Last formula. Huh? So it is one divided by three by four, or I can write it as four by three. Plus tan inverse of one by seven. This will be tan inverse of four by three plus one by seven by one minus four by three into one by seven. So how much is this? Tan inverse of 11 plus 3, 14, divided by 21 minus 4 is 21 minus 4, 17. Huh? 14 by 17, is that the answer? Did I miss something? Oh, 28, uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, I made a mistake. So, tan was of 21 by 17, correct? Uh? So moving on to the next one. Uh, tan inverse of root of 1 plus x square minus 1 by x. 1 plus x square. That's R. 1 plus x square means put x is equal to tan or cot. Okay. So tan inverse of root of 1 plus x square. That is 1 plus tan square theta. How much is it? Secant square theta under a root. Secant theta. Minus 1 divided by tan theta. I hope this so step is clear. You take whatever you will get the answer. Don't worry. You take whatever you want, you will get the answer. So tan inverse of secant theta, I can write it as 1 by cos theta. So 1 minus cos theta divided by cos theta into tan theta. Correct? So this is tan inverse of 1 minus cos theta divided by sin theta. Any doubt guys? I skipped certain steps. Just check it once and let me know if there is anything not here. So when I put x is equal to tan theta, root of 1 plus tan square theta is secant square. Secant square under a root is secant. So secant minus 1 divided by x at the tan theta. So secant I wrote it as 1 by cos theta. When I take LCM I get 1 minus cos theta by cos theta. So this cos will get multiplied with tan. So 1 minus cos theta by sin theta. So till here it is simple. Now what are we supposed to do? What is 1 minus cos theta? How many of you don't know this? You don't know? Study it, correct. Apply one another. Do you know this or not? Right? 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin square theta by 2. Listen. Niranjan, listen. So, how did you get it? Cos square theta is, sorry, cos to theta is equal to cos square theta minus sin square theta or it is 2 cos square theta minus 1 or it is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square theta. Accept it. Now, cos to theta, I can, if I take this formula, I I take cos 2 theta to, to the right and sin square theta, 2 sin square theta to the left. Can I write it as 2 sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta? Then apply half angle formula. If it is 2 theta here, sin square the theta you are getting. Then if it is 1 minus cos theta, it would have been 2 sin square theta by 2. Theta by two. If it is 1 minus cos theta by 2, it will be 2 sin square theta by 4. How do you half write it? Okay. In the same law with the same logic, 1 minus cos theta, I can write it as 2 sin square theta by 2 divided by sin theta, I can write it as 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2. So again, same logic, sin 2 theta on the 2 sin theta cos theta. Then what about sin theta? 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. Accept it. 
So two, two gone, one sine is gone. So tan inverse of tan theta by two answer is, but you should not leave it as theta by two. What are you supposed to leave it? See, this is where you need to be careful. It is half of tan inverse. Tan inverse x divided by two. Some people do a mistake of writing it as tan inverse x by two. Right? This is right. This is wrong. Don't do that mistake. Okay. Next one, I'm expecting you to do it. I've given you all the hints. So tan inverse of one by root of x square minus one by x. X square minus one. And so one by root of one by the root of the the root the root of the root of the root of the and don't make a mistake of memorizing what I'm supposed to substitute to get the answer. Don't do it. Logic is same. Or up you can do anything. It will be the answer. Okay. Sir, I've do the got till, uh, sir, I've got wait. till tan inverse of one by tan theta. I know that. I know you got stuck there. See, tan inverse of 1 by secant square minus 1 is tan. Uh. So I hope everybody would have got till this step and you are thinking what to do. Correct? Uh? Yes, sir. This, see, listen. Tan inverse of tan theta, right? We forget our 10th standard basic that this can be, sorry. Cot theta, this can be written as tan of pi by 2 minus theta. Do it. Pi by 2 minus theta is pi by 2 minus theta. Hello. Secant inverse x. Pi by 2 minus secant inverse x is cosecant inverse x. Correct? How did I write that? Because secant inverse x is cosecant inverse x. Hello. Pi by 2. Is there anyone who didn't understand any of the steps? Till where did you understand? Other one by tan theta and another cot. Cot, how can you write in terms of tan? Tan of 90 minus theta. Tan pi by 2 minus theta. Tha. So, other cup pi by 2 minus theta. Okay. Now you got a doubt. Why didn't I substitute for secant? So, if you try and see. So, tan inverse of you wanted to try root of cosecant square theta minus 1. So, this is going to give you tan inverse of 1 by 1 by cot theta. Tan inverse of upper theta and thetas will still get the same answer. So, yeah. so that is why I told if you get stick, uh, stuck at some point, right, you will face this kind of a scenario also. Sometimes you will have sine inverse inside, uh, sine inverse as inverse trigonometry, and you will have cos inside. Right sine 90 minus theta. Most of the scenarios will get this kind of a problem. So don't worry about what to think or don't memorize any problem. Just go with the flow. Sariya. Is everyone clear? Right. Do the next sir, one. Pi by 2 minus theta out of the other, sir. You can stop it, Pi by 2. See, but I wanted both the answers to be the same, right? Oh. See, if I stop it with that, I will I'll get pi by 2 minus secant inverse 6. If at all you don't know the fourth property that, that uh, pi by 2 minus secant inverse 6 means cosecant inverse x, you will start substituting cosecant theta, then you will get the answer here as cosecant inverse x. You're able to understand? Yes. So, if you, did you understand all these problems? So, whenever they generally ask you to write it in the simplest, simplest form, 
if it is a function where you are not going if it is a problem where you are not going by substitution then what will happen inverse function will arise see for example i think the previous one right a uh, previous one also we went with the substitution method only so you remember the very first problem that we did uh, based on simplest form tan inverse of cos x by 1 minus sin x so you just got x by 2 or pi by 4 plus x by 2 something you would have got so there we didn't have any inverse function whereas if you go with substitution all the answers you are going to get will have inverse function so that is what i am trying to say in a similar way this problem is there right you try to solve this as is there any inverse function you will directly get the value in x so 1 minus cos x i gave you the formula what is it 2 sin square x by 2 theta by 2 Ah, you are x by two, right? Yeah, because no, there is no theta. Okay, so it is two sine square x by two. Then what? What is one plus cos six? Two cos square x by two. Is everyone clear why it is two? They don't just accept for my satisfaction. Is everyone clear? So one minus cos six is two sine square x by two. One plus cos six is two cos square x by two. So tan inverse of uh root of Two sine square x by two by two cos square x by two. Two and two are gone. So tan inverse of tan x by two answer will be x by two. That's it. Next one. So tan inverse of this one. You people tell me what you're supposed to do. Cos x minus sine. It would be cos minus sine by cos minus sine. Keep off. So divided by cos x. See, for example, have the same question be in terms of part inverse. See, part inverse of cos x minus sin x by cos x minus sin x. That means divided by sin. So for this problem, yes, divide the numerator and denominator with cos. Up and down. Ah, tan inverse of. One minus tan x by one plus tan x. So tan inverse of uh, tan of pi by four minus x. Answer is that's it. Okay. Moving on to the next one. Are you any doubt here, Dinesh? So tan inverse of x divided by root of a square minus x square. I can put x is equal to a sin theta or cos theta. It's up to you. What do you want to substitute? I will go with sine because the numerator is clearly telling me if I have sine here, the denominator is going to come in terms of cos. So sine by cos will be tan. So my answer is one. So I get tan inverse of a sine theta divided by. Can I directly write it as a cos theta? Did everyone understand how I got it? Because I am putting x is equal to what a sine theta. So yeah, so a and a will get cancelled. This will be tan inverse of tan theta. Answer another theta. Theta is what? Ah, no, no, no. The sine inverse of x by a. Right. Sine inverse of x by a. Don't write it as sine inverse x by a. Clear. Sine inverse of x by a. Because in the Value itself. Any doubts, guys? You're clear, ma? Clear, ma? Clear, ma? Try the next one. You guys, sir. So it is looking at some format. It is looking at the format of tan three theta, but but a square a two is a little confused. So what is supposed to substitute? We put x is equal to a tan theta. We 
put x equal to eight and theta because c is the highest power. So the highest power will give you the name. Theta is the form of tan theta. Theta and theta minus tan cube theta. So cube will what is it? So then it will become so theta. Do it and see. So logic is x is equal to a tan theta, which implies theta is equal to how much? Tan inverse of x by a. Very good. So it will be tan inverse of three a cube tan theta minus a cube tan cube theta divided by a cube minus three a cube tan square theta. What gets cancelled? What is lost in the numerator and denominator? What is common? A cube. So if I take out A cube, I get 3 tan, tan theta minus tan cube theta by 1 minus 3 tan square theta. Tan 3 Correct. theta. Yes, that's right. So this is tan inverse of tan 3 theta. This will be 3 theta. But what is theta? Tan inverse of x by a. So when you're copying a very step is not clear, right? Please ask me. Those who are clear can, can proceed to the next problem. Yeah. We are putting x is equal to a tan theta, right? So, 3a into a square tan square theta. So, a into a square is a cube. The tan square theta is left with tan square. Sir, why did we choose x as a tan theta? Because it is looking in the format of uh, 3 tan theta. Rada. Sorry, tan 3 theta. No? I choose a tan theta because this is telling me if I put a tan theta, then the power of a will become the same in all the cases because I want to get rid of a. That is the logic. Yes, sir. Yes. So that is why if you see in previous problem also, we would have got rid of a. A and a got cancelled. C. Whenever, whenever that constant comes, a will get cancelled. Yes, sir. Clear, guys. Tenth is clear, no? Eleventh is find the value of following tan inverse of. See, the question looks big, but it is simple. Two cos of two into what is sine inverse of half? What is the principal value of sine inverse of half? Pi by six. Is... So it is tan inverse of two cos of pi by three. So this will be tan inverse of two into half. That is tan inverse of 1, what is the principal value? That is the answer. Hmm. One step. Tan inverse A plus cot inverse A. Pi by 2. Cot pi by 2. What is cot pi by 2? 0. Tan pi by 2 is infinity. Da. Cot pi by 2 is 0. Okay. Next. Looks complicated, right? Is it, is it complicated? Actually, see, tan of half into sine inverse of 2x by 1 plus x square is 2 tan inverse x plus cos inverse of 1 minus y by 1 minus y square by 1 plus y square is 2. Last property, tan inverse y. Right? 
see the last property please sixth one sixth abc part what is given there two tan inverse x and sin inverse squared by 1 by x square simply two tan inverse x is cos of sorry cos inverse of 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square adhere two tan inverse x is tan inverse of 2x by 1 minus x square so the only difference is you have 1 minus y square by 1 plus y square of inner this cos inverse of sorry 2 tan inverse of y correct huh? so for tan of 2 and 2 will get cancelled i'll have tan inverse x plus tan inverse y so what are the formula guys tan inverse of x plus y, x plus y, y by 1 minus x square so what is the answer x plus y by 1 minus x square this is the simplest form that's it okay they gave it in a complicated form only to confuse you Simple answer. So the last property is very important, guys. Okay. Try the next one. What are the questions? Yeah. So sine of sine inverse one by phi plus cos inverse x is equal to one. What is the other answer? So again, one step. Sine inverse of one by phi plus cos inverse of x is equal to sine inverse of one. Except taking sine inverse on both the sides. Sine inverse one by one. Phi by two. So sine inverse of x plus cos inverse of x is pi by two means this value and this value are supposed to be the same. So x is equal to one by pi. That is one way of solving. Or what would have happened? You can write cos inverse x is equal to pi by two minus sine inverse of one by pi. So pi by two minus sine inverse one by pi is cos inverse of one by pi. Property number four. Cos inverse x is equal to cos inverse one by five. Up x will be okay. Next one. Is there anyone copying it? That is your done. Tan inverse of x minus one by x minus two plus tan inverse of x plus one by x plus two is equal to five by four. Here you can't work on substitution. Go with direct formula. Tan inverse x plus tan inverse y, where x is what x minus one by x minus two, y is x plus one by x plus two. You have to go with LCM. Solve it. So you get tan inverse of. X minus one into x plus two plus x plus one into x minus two divided by x minus two into x plus two minus x minus one into x plus two. See if you are getting this step anywhere. I skip two steps actually. Check if you are getting this value. Don't copy it directly. You try it on your own. You got this step, huh? Got this? Now your job is to simplify this. Actually, there is a quadratic equation based problem.
Is there anyone who is not clear how I got this? Not clear? Okay. See, listen. Tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is tan inverse of x minus 1 by x plus x plus y divided by 1 minus x into y. Is it correct? Huh? Tan inverse of x plus y, fifth property power. x plus y divided by 1 minus x into y. Correct? Huh? So, tan inverse of uh, cross multiply because I am taking LCM. x minus 1 into x plus 2 is x plus 1 into x plus 2. Sorry. x plus 1 into x minus 2 divided by this is LCM here. x minus 2 into x plus 2 minus x minus 1 into x plus 1 is equal to pi by 4. Why did I leave this x minus 2 and x plus 2 here and x minus 2 and x plus 2 here? Because when you take the LCM, the denominator will be the product of both. So, when that is a, this is a step I wrote. Okay. So, tan inverse of, now take the product x square plus x minus 2 plus x square minus x minus 2 divided by x square minus 4 minus x square minus plus 1. X square plus 1. Cancel it. Uh, x and x are gone. So, this tan inverse, tan I can take it to the other side, it becomes 1. So, x square plus x square is 2x square minus 2x 4. Square minus 4 by minus 3. Is equal to 1 now. Which implies 2x square minus 4 is equal to minus 3. 2x square is equal to 1. Up x square will be equal to plus or minus 1 divided by. But what if. Huh? Oh, x will be, sorry. Yes, sir. How did? Because I took the tan to the other, I took tan on both the sides. Uh, so tan pi by 4 is 1. What is the answer given? Is it 1 by root 2 or plus or minus? Plus or minus. Because I was checking, there is no domain that is given. So, sine inverse of sine 2 pi by 3. Answer is 2 pi by 3, correct? Hmm? I gave to confuse you. How did you get? See, 2 pi by 3 belongs to which quadrant? So, Second quadrant. what sine, sine inverse of sine x is equal to x, where x belongs to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 means I need to convert this 2 pi by 3 to first quadrant. So, what is the acute angle corresponding to it? So, it is sine inverse of sine of, listen to this carefully, okay, listen to this. How will you know whether you are supposed to write pi minus or pi plus this? You have 2 pi by 3, right? Look at the number in the numerator and denominator. Which number is more? Denominator, right? So, try to write the numerator in terms of denominator. Means, I can write 2 as 3 pi minus 2 pi by 3. Accepted. So, sine inverse of sine of, now it becomes pi minus 2 pi by 3. How much is this? Pi by 3. What you told is right, but I am just giving the logic. Okay. So, sine inverse of sine of pi by 3. Now see, pi by 3 belongs to the domain. Yes, it does. Now you can write pi by 3. 
So it is not true type A3, don't make that mistake. Hmm, 2 pi, da. 2 on the, how can I write it in terms of 3? 3 minus 2. Oh, I made a mistake. Huh? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Sir, they were asked values too, sir, not principal values. Yeah, yeah, this is right. See, 3 minus, correct. Huh? So, 3 pi minus pi divided by 3. So, I split the LCM to each part. 3 pi by 3 is pi minus pi by 3. So, pi minus pi by 3, you know, what is it? Sin pi minus 180 minus theta. Second quadrant, sin theta only. So, that is why sin pi by 3. Now, sin inverse of sin pi by 3 is pi by 3. Can I twist this question and ask you? Solve it. Sign inverse of sign 4 pi by 3. So why are we even doing the pi plus pi by three? So you write, you think it is four pi by three, but four pi by three does not belong to minus pi by two to pi by three. So four you can write it in terms of three as three pi plus pi by three. So what will you get? Pi plus pi by three, and what you told is right. We get sine inverse of sine of minus pi by three. Yeah? Pi plus pi by three, a third quadrant of sine will become negative. See, for those who are not able to understand, sine inverse of sine of three pi plus pi divided by three. Okay. See, this is only till you get used to the logic. Other company, you can do whatever you want. So, sine of pi plus pi by three. So, sine inverse of sine of. Actually, it is not sine of. What is it? It is minus sine pi by three. So, sine inverse of minus x is minus, minus sine, sine inverse x. So, minus sine inverse of sine pi by 3 on the, now it is minus. So, this is how you get minus pi by 3. Okay. So, using the same logic, do this. Tan inverse of tan 3 pi by 4. I got the answer. So, you do not write 3 pi by 4 because it does not belong to Minus five into the pi. Okay, now pi minus pi by four. Pi minus pi by four. Minus pi by four. Right. So tan inverse of tan of pi minus pi by four. Right. So, this is tan inverse of minus tan pi by 4. But what is tan inverse of minus tan pi by 4? Tan inverse of minus x. Minus tan inverse of x. Tan of pi by 4. This will be minus pi by 4. Had the same question been cot inverse of cot 3 pi by 4. Tell me the answer. Immediately you started falling. Don't do that. Okay, zero to pi. No, don't touch it. Why? Why do you want to touch it? Had the question been pi pi by four, let's twist it like that. Keep up another. So, cot inverse of cot pi pi by four. See, for the above one, it is 3 pi by 4. Only. Cot inverse of cot 5 pi by 4. What will you get? Pi plus pi by 4. Up answer? Pi pi by 4. Pi plus pi by 4. Which quadrant? Third quadrant. Cot is positive. So, answer is pi by 4. Right? Uh, tan inverse of sine 3 by 5 plus cot inverse, sorry, sine inverse of 3 by 5 plus cot inverse of 3 by 2. So, look at the outer function that is tan 
inside you are supposed to write it in terms of tan inverse so if i have sin inverse of 3 by 5 what is the time 7 ten so this will be the last problem okay so let's take this as alpha okay if i take sin inverse 3 by 5 as alpha then 3 by 5 is equal to sin alpha except it so sin alpha and another opposite by adjacent so 3 phi now how much is this 4 so sin uh, then what is tan alpha guys 3 by 4 up alpha another tan inverse of 3 by 4 so what i'm trying to say is sin inverse of 3 by 5 can be replaced with tan inverse of 3 by 4 so tan of tan inverse of 3 by 4 plus cot inverse of 3 by 2 one minute time do it fast and tell me can be replaced with you need not even do any triangle tan inverse of 2 by 3 You remember, tan inverse of x is equal to cot inverse of one by x for all values of x greater than zero. Now, now what can you do? Tan of tan inverse x plus tan inverse y inside the bracket. Do it, you will get the answer. Do it fast. Or rather, tan inverse x plus y divided by one minus x y. Hello, ma. How much? Seventeen by six, sir. Correct. I'm not checking it. Seventeen by six. Correct. So let's see what are the other problems. I'll just give you a hint. You can try it before next class. Right. Okay. Twenty fifth another. Ah, uh, cos inverse of cos seven pi by six. You can do it in mind itself. So seven pi by six is greater than pi. So how will you write it? Cos of pi plus pi by six. Ah, uh, pi plus pi by six in the quadrant. Third, third it is. So minus cos pi by six. Correct. Uh, so what you have? Cos inverse of minus cos of pi by six. What is the answer? Cos inverse of minus six. Pi minus cos inverse six. property marakka dinga pi minus i told you for whichever functions the domain is between 0 to pi so pi minus cos inverse of sorry pi minus cos pi by 6 pi minus pi by 6 how much is answer it is 5 pi by 6 okay so I'll just Find the principal value, subtract it, find the angle. You will get the answer. Takkan zolenga apne. Actually, they are simple only. We can finish it off. Sine inverse minus half yoro da. Sine inverse half yoro. Pi by six. Sine inverse minus half is minus pi by six. So sine of pi by three, you already have a minus, and you are getting a minus pi by six. So sine of pi by three plus pi by six. Sixty plus thirty. Ninety. Sine pi by. One. Breathe. Tan inverse root three. Pi by three. Pi by three. Da. Sixty degrees. Minus cot inverse of minus root three. Pi minus pi pi by six. Pi by three minus pi pi by six. This is. 2 pi by 6 minus 5 pi by 6. It is minus 3 pi by 6 or minus 5 by 2. That's it. Okay, the chapter is over. Miscellaneous. I am expecting you to do it. And if there are any doubts, I reach out. Sorry. Those who are on, and any doubts. No sir. No sir. No right. Shubham Harini, Akash and Arvind. No doubt, right? No, no sir. sir. Okay, perfect. We can wind up.